Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, man. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Be careful of vouching for people because that can ruin your credibility. Now, this is a spicy one, dog, because I'm going to be real with you. When you put your name out there for somebody or you, let's say you stick up for a person or you vouch for them, however you want to put it, right? You're putting your name, your credibility on the line. Somebody trusting you, right? It's just like example. Let's say you have a job, right? And your job is like, yeah, we're hiring. And they have on every job application damn near, yo, do you know somebody who works for this company? Then they put your name down as a referral. It's like saying like you're vouching for them, especially if management comes to you or something and they ask you, do you know this person? Yeah, I know that person. They're good. They're hardworking, whatever, right? Once you put your name on the line for somebody or you vouch for them, that's your credibility that's at stake. You get what I'm saying? So here's the deal. If a person chooses not to fulfill their end of the bargain after you stood up for them, that kind of dirty, not kind of, it does. It dirties your face very badly. You feel me? And it also depends on the situation at hand, too. You got to realize this. In this world, there are people who are opportunists. There are some people, there are good opportunists and bad opportunists. Let me just state that. There are some people who are looking to get by in life. And some people understand this, all right? Now, I'm going to say something. I want you to listen closely. In life, hard work is where it's at. You get what I'm saying? Your name means everything, right? Whatever your name is attached to, that follows you. So, example, if somebody knows you as, oh, that's such and such, they play uh, the piano. People know you as that. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they're a good piano player. Oh, this person? Oh, they rob. People know you as that. You get what I'm saying? Your name follows you. So if you vouch for somebody and you're putting your name out there and you don't know that person all the way, you're trying to do them a favor, you trying to do that can actually screw you in the long run, too. And I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes when you try to be good or you try to look out for other people, it can sometimes backfire on you. I'm a victim of that, you feel me? Because sometimes when you try to look out for people, it doesn't necessarily mean in turn that they're doing the same for you. People, some people are looking out for themselves. You get what I'm saying? So if they can make it to where they need to off of your help or your name or whatever the case may be, they'll do that. Give you another example, right? Why I said your name means a lot and you, you have to be careful of vouching for people. There are some people who will see that you have a good name and they will use that name. Pay close attention. Good or bad. Let's say you're a person who's in the streets, right? And everybody knows you as a certain type of a person. Some people could try to use your name to get a pass. You get what I'm saying? Just like vice versa, if you're a good person and there's benefits that come with your name, people will try to use your name to get certain things. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's different worlds. You get what I'm saying? So your name means everything. You have to be careful who it is that you're vouching for. People can definitely dirty your name. Then there are some people who are very salty, very jealous, very bad mind, very envious, wicked, evil, right? They will see you have a good name and they will see how they can try their best to ruin your name, right? And the reason why people do that, as I just stated, is out of envy and jealousy, right? There are some people who will know for a fact that you could have helped them with something, but you chose not to, all for looking out for yourself and your best benefit. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, as I get older, I can't really blame people for that because you have to understand human nature. Some people, as I stated before in this video, some people are looking to get by. Some people are looking to see who they can use, how they can get to the next level or whatever the case may be. 
If they can use your name to get there, they will do that. If they can see if they can use you or take something from you or take advantage, they will do that in their best benefit. Let the roles would have been reversed. Chances are that person would not do that for you. Let's just be honest. Sometimes you got to really think of it like this. If you stick your neck out for a person, would they do the same for you in return? Think logically, think realistically. Would they do it? Mm, no. So you don't have to do it. You get what I'm saying? It's just all on you if you were going to do it. You feel me? Here's the deal. In this life that we live, not only does your name hold weight, but your name is definitely like, um, put it like this, bro. If you're a person who does right and you're a good person, stand up, hard work, and all of that good jazz, your name is tied to that, you golden, you suave. Tell you why. Because people know you as that, especially if you're a person who's just been brought up doing that or that's just who you are, your name travels, it goes that way. You get what I'm saying? So you'll understand that in this life, there are some people who will try to ride off of your name. And because they see that, yo, they can't do it or they can no longer do it, it would become a problem. Because why? They can't do that for their own self. You feel me? And like I said, let the roles would be reversed. You try to do that with them, it would be a problem. You get what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you, this is all a part of human nature. People like to see what it is that they can take, get, for like damn near nothing in exchange, dog. People like, not saying everybody, but if people can have things handed to them, they would go ahead and take it. You feel me? Because why? It's the effort that people just, I just want to get to the next level. You get what I'm saying? And you're programming yourself to getting getting by in life you feel me once you get by in life and you program yourself to getting by it's gonna be a hard time for you bro especially if you're not willing to put in the hard work and effort hard work and effort your own self you feel me you got to understand this when you have a name and you've built that name for yourself <laughs> Be real with you, you have the right to get selfish with a lot of shit, you get what I'm saying? You don't have to do certain things, you get what I'm saying? It's off the love or off the strength of if you want to do it, you feel me? Because you work hard for that on your own. So you don't have to stick your neck out there for somebody. You don't have to vouch for somebody, you feel me? And the thing about it is, is this. When you vouch for somebody, Overall, when I said, yo, it smears your name or whatever the case may, it can dirty your name. Put it like this. Let's say there's a person, right, who's known for doing bad or a thief or whatever the case may be, right? And you decide whether this person asks you for your help or you offer your assistance, whatever the case may be. This person, yo, I need help, right? Oh, I want to change. I want to do better, whatever the case may be. You decide, yo, I'm going to do this. I'm going to help you, right? Then in turn, something pops off and you vouch for this person. Yo, they wouldn't do this, man. They wouldn't do this. You get what I'm saying? Show you how that could screw your face. There are some people who have ulterior motives, dog. They have ulterior motives. So they understand who you are as a person, what they can possibly get off of you, your name, your reputation whatever the case may be all they have to do is find a way how to get in solidify their place make sure everything is calm and suave before they can start their foolishness so I'll give you an example into that right as i stated somebody is a criminal thief whatever the case may be right you give them a job oh yeah they're working hard they're proving themselves they're proving everybody wrong and all of a sudden Money comes up missing and everything just gets stolen. And this is out of the norm, completely abnormal. We're not used to this happening. Of course, a lot of people are going to be like, yo, it's got to be this person. So who is it that's going to vouch for them? Oh, the person who, oh yeah, I stuck up for them. They said they want to change this, that, and the third. No, 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 no. You feel me? Then that person was actually the person who stole the money or, do, or did whatever the case may be. They just dirtied your name, bro. In a way, you feel me? Because you brought them there. You get what I'm saying? 
you're the one who vouched for them and sold and convinced the others yo this person wouldn't do that right whole time that person knows what type of person they are they just need an opportunity to make shit happen i'm gonna tell you like this bro if a snake gets an opportunity to strike he will strike learn that dog i'm gonna teach you free game all day on this camera dog if a person is a snake and they have the opportunity to strike they will take it i'm gonna be real this is chess this is how chess is I don't play checkers, dog. I play chess all day long. You feel me? If a snake or a person has snake ways, right? That means they are known for being a snake. They've done it. You ever heard the saying? If you've done it before, you'll do it again. Or if you did it once, you could do it twice. There are people who've done certain things off of being a snake or out of snake ways. And they've seen the benefit of it but they've got accustomed to the feeling of yeah i felt bad for certain things but yeah at least i got what it is that i got it i got i got what it is that i needed you feel me that's how it goes for them so if they see an opportunity where it's like yo i changed i this that and the third let me see if i could get back around this person or let me see if this person will vouch for me or help me or whatever the case may be they're never gonna see it and understand it in their mind what it took for you to go ahead and convince or take your time and effort to pull strings or make whatever happen. They're not going to see it that way because they're not in your role. They're not seeing the damages that they're causing to you. That's why I said there are people out here in the world that are out to get things just for themselves. And they do not care about the next person. So you have to be very mindful. You feel me? You have to understand, right? I'm checking my time because I got to go into work later. You got to understand this, bro. In life... People will not care about you as long as they can get whatever it is that they need up off you. They're gone. I've said this multiple of times, but I spun it in different ways and different angles so you can see why I say that. A person can see you got a good standing name. What can I get up off of your name? I know you. You feel me? You can do this for me. Whatever the case may be. People move like this. You just have to figure it out and play chess. Yo. Why would this person rely on me? Or why is this person here? Would this person do this? If you have to second guess yourself, learn this. This is free game as well. If you have to second guess yourself about a person, chances are your intuition is telling you, yo, don't do it. Follow that shit. You feel me? Because you don't want to be the person that finds yourself floating up shit creek later on. Like, yo, I should have listened to my mind the first time around damn it you feel me everybody's been there before when they had that feeling where it's like yo don't trust this person or yo don't you got a bad vibe or a bad feeling about this person or a situation or a job or whatever the case may be a friend group it doesn't matter but when you put your name out there for people or you try to see if you could vouch for a person or you help a person you have to be very careful of who it is that you're helping there are some people that know your name is good standing. There are some people that know that you're, you're a decent person. They don't care about what it is that you got going on. They care about them and themselves only. That's why I said the, the power of mindfulness is very important. And I've been really holding a lot of topics, including that one. If a person is mindful towards the next person, they wouldn't do half the shit that they do reason being is because they practice mindfulness mindfulness is basically saying that yo i wouldn't want somebody to do this to me because people downright have a conscience dog and this is also where drugs comes into play i'm all over the place but you know i spin it around and tie it back in suave every time people who do ill-advised things chances are they can get on drugs or alcohol or whatever that alters the state of their mind, bro. To help kill their conscience in a way so they can continue doing bad things. And continue harming people. And seeing who they can get over on or get by with. You feel me? That's why you have to be careful of your surroundings. And know a person. You cannot be out here just vouching for people. Because, yo, they're my friend or I grew up with them. Here's another gem that I never said in this camera. Just because you grew up with a person 
and you split ways from them and you came back around them doesn't mean that they're the, they're that same person <coughs> that you always once knew people grow in life and pick up new habits and learn new things and new tricks and new games and they figure out yo this is something that i could probably use on this person you got to understand this in life you you and a person could be friends today and enemies tomorrow just like you and a person could be enemies today and friends tomorrow things happen in different kinds of ways bro life is different dog. life can happen in different ways bro but i'm gonna be real with you you have to double check the triple check quadruple check everybody that's around you bro you cannot vouch for people and feel like they'll do the same thing for you there are some people who low-key envy you because of your abilities and know that if the time came for them to vouch for you or have to do the same for you they wouldn't do it for you you want to know why they see you as competition you're better than them so they're not going to vouch for you they're not going to help you those are the type of people that look at you like a footstool like a stepping stool if i can step on you <coughs> step on your toes get to the next level dog i'll do it if i could put you down and play in front of your face like i'm your friend i'll do it then these are the same people that turn around and wonder dog why is it certain things aren't happening for me why is my life like why is my life like this why don't i have solid friends you had a solid friend you had a solid relationship you had a solid person around you you just chose to roll the dice the wrong way and forfeit your hand so when your ass rolls snake eyes and you start crying you got to realize this it's your fault that's another thing this is the main reason this is another reason why i drop these videos because i don't want nobody to get into certain waters without getting certain answers or understanding certain things and then you end up kicking yourself for it later bro i did a lot of that to myself bro a lot of it dog a lot of it dog you feel me and i had to learn and that's why i said the new year i, I take a lot of this stuff in stride i give myself forgiveness because i didn't know any better i was just trying to try i had to teach myself a lot of stuff in life dog a lot you feel me a lot that's what i'm telling you in life when you go through certain things and you don't try to learn certain less certain le sir, learn certain lessons you're gonna go through it again and again and again and again and it's gonna f feel like you're on a hamster wheel why won't this change because you wanna you won't get up and change the channel you feel me sometimes we're the ones that's causing our own demise in life that's a fact as well too even if you're an empath and you're like yo why do i have this heart why do these things why can't i control this you have to understand this you are a powerful person you just may not know how to use that yet you feel me that's why i'm here to show you certain things so once you grasp it and you understand it it all makes sense to you you feel me with that being said remember this man words can help you they can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion dog nobody's a loser man 444 the world man um don't work too hard you get what i'm saying halfway through the week weekend almost here dog ah. i got four videos this week dog i ain't even capping to you and then my schedule changes again next week so right when i thought i had a perfect schedule it still flows but I'm probably just gonna roll it out um, and cast the voting for it for you guys and we'll just go from there. You get what I'm saying? Uh, 444 the world, man. Love the hell out of all you guys, man. Peace.